Hi, it's Aditi, and today I'm going to show you how I built this personal blog web page using Create. Here I am in Create, and in front of us we have a couple of different pages that make up our blog project as a total. We're going to start really simple. Let's start on our blog dashboard page. This is our blog dashboard page, and it's where the user comes to edit and delete old blog posts, as well as publish new posts. There are about three different sections to the prompt that I use to create this page. The first section is just asking Create to mimic a picture that I gave it when creating a dashboard. This just gives it a little bit more structure when it's designing its web page, and it also makes it more user-friendly for me. The second section of my prompt is basically telling Create what to do when my new post button is pressed. I want to take the user to a page where they're allowed to input their title and content for their new blog post. So this is what I told Create. I'm also added a line that said, when the save button is pressed, store the information into a database called personal blog. And we'll be retrieving from this database to display the information later. The last bit of my prompt deals with telling Create what to do when the dashboard button is pressed. So the dashboard is where I want to display my old blog posts and allow the admin user to edit and delete them. So this is what I asked Create to do. I also asked Create to to link the logout button to our main homepage so that when the user decides to log out, it takes them to the public view of their blog page. Now that we've done our blog dashboard page, let's take a step back and go over how we're authenticating our admin user. In other words, how our login is working. So there's really two pieces to this login puzzle. The first is getting the information from our user. So I've created this really basic admin login page with two input fields, one for username and one for password. When the login button is pressed, I'm sending both the username and password to a function called user authentication system. This user authentication system function is the other half of our login page. And what this does is it essentially takes two inputs, a username and password, and returns true if the username and password inputted match the admin username and password. Otherwise, it returns false. So how are we storing the admin username and password? Well, up here in secrets, I've added two secrets, one for the admin username and one for the admin password. So that's what we're referencing in our function. Depending on what our user authentication function returned to us, we're going to decide whether this is a successful admin login or a not successful admin login. And if it is successful, we're going to redirect the admin user to our blog dashboard page, which is over here. Otherwise, we're just going to tell them that either your username or password is incorrect and ask them to try again. Moving on to our last page, our personal blog landing page. And this is by far the easiest page we've had to create. All we're asking Create to do is to design a personal blog web page and also hide a sign in button in the top right corner that lets the user sign in. It will only become visible when the user hovers over it. I'm also asking Create to display our blog posts here from our personal blog database and to generate a random image for each blog post using stable diffusion. OK, now let's test it out. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Publish over here and open our live app in a new page. And here we have our beautiful personal blog website with our one blog post. Let's go add another. So I'm going to hit sign in. And I'm going to come to this admin login page. And I have my password saved. So it's just going to go through, authenticate with the backend function. And it's going to take me to our blog dashboard page. So here I can come in and edit this. Um, I love to play tennis and hit update. And then this will update here. I can also create a new post and call it um, Hi from Create. And let's say it's my first video. And then save this. And it will take me to my dashboard page and show me my second blog post. So if we hit log out, we can go check it out on our public page. And here it is. So we have this updated as well. And our second blog post showed up. If you wanted to take a deeper look at any of my pages, they're all linked individually down below in the description box. Thank you for watching and have fun building with Create.